In this video on gamma function, the second part of gamma function, actually, we are going to be evaluating some integrals using the definition of the gamma function. In the first video on gamma function, we said that gamma of x is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the x minus 1 e to the power of minus t dt. Alright, so integrals of this form can be evaluated using the gamma function. Now, I want to evaluate this integral. The integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of 4, e to the power of minus x dx. This integral is in this form. Check it very well. From 0 to infinity, the same thing here. Then, the variable in question is x now, not t. Okay, t is the independent variable here. Here we have it as x. Now, the same thing we have here, e to the power of minus x, then this is e to the power of minus t dx dt just that here we have something minus one but here we just have four so what i would do is to write this integral to be in this format 100 percent this is it the integral from zero to infinity of x to the power of oh let's subtract one from to give me four it is actually five that will give me four so five minus one would give me four then this is e to the power of minus x dx. So if this is gamma of x, okay, and this integral is exactly in this format, it means that comparing, compare these two integral, what we have here is equivalent to this. So it means that this integral is equal to gamma of 5. Because 5 is standing in place of x in the definition. So this is gamma of x, this will be gamma of 5. And I gave you a relation that says that for positive integers of x, let's say n, gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. And I also said that gamma of n is equal to n, sorry, gamma of n plus 1 equal to n gamma of n. So the time gamma of 5, I'm going to make use of this. Gamma of 5 is simply 5 minus 1 factorial and that is 4 factorial 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that will give me 24 so this entire integral is equal to 24 that's just it so you can see the power of the gamma function how it helps to evaluate uh, difficult integrals integrals that go from 0 to infinity okay now let's see some other complicated problems look at the function we have here and looking at the one we have as the definition okay uh x is t there's no problem with the x here what we are concerned about is this the power of the exponential function here and the power of t here if you look at this it is e to the power of minus t check t here has a coefficient of minus one but in my question x here is having a coefficient of what minus 2. So for that reason we have to modify this entire integral to be like this. Okay now in the modification process a new variable will be introduced. I'll say let u which is a new variable be equal to this 2x. I'm not going to touch the minus because in the definition there is a minus. You get the point. So I'm just going to make this 2x u. That's just it. So from here, I will differentiate x, differentiate u with respect to x, and that will give me 2. And if I make ds the subject of the formula, it implies that dx is equal to du over 2. Yes, if we cross multiply, du is equal to 2 dx. Then the Bible side by 2, so that du over 2 will be equal to dx. Also, from here, I want to make x the subject of the formula. So, if I divide both sides by 2, it means that u over 2 will be equal to x. So, x is equal to u over 2. So, let's modify the integral now. This integral will now be equal to this. The integral from... Just a question. This integral is from x equal to 0 to x equal to infinity. This new integral now, will it still be from 0 to infinity? Yes. 
it will check when x is zero if i plug in zero here two times zero that's zero so when x is zero u is equal to zero of course when x is at infinity u is also infinity two times infinity is actually infinity of course you know that so it is still from u equal to zero to u equal to infinity then what is x x is u over 2 u over 2 all to the power of 8 then e to the power of what minus 2x but what did we say 2x is u so i'm going to write minus u then in place of dx i'm going to write du over 2 so this integral has been modified into this you see so we now have an integral in terms of u and not x the reason is because the reason for modifying this integral is so that we can have an integral in this form exactly in this form that's why we have to do this so just make sure you follow the whole modification process all right now from here we now rearrange the uh, integrand into something like this okay now this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the power of 8, 2 to the power of 8. Then e to the power of minus u, du over 2. You will agree with me that this 2 here is going to multiply this 2 raised to the power 8 to give me 2 raised to the power 9. So allow me to write this. And I can bring out 1 over 2 to the power of 9. So I'll be having 1 over 2 raised to the power 9 into the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the power of 8, e to the power of minus u, du. Because we have x minus 1, so we must write this 8 as something minus 1. And of course, it is 9 minus 1 that will give me 8. So this integral is 1 over 2 to the power of 9 into the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the power of 9 minus 1 because 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 times e to the power of minus u du and this is 1 over 2 to the power of 9 times if this is gamma of x then this must be gamma of 9 because 9 is starting in place of x here so I'm writing gamma of 9 and of course gamma of 9 is what? 8 factorial if I say 9 minus 1 that would be 8 so this is simply 1 over 2 to the power of 9 times 8 factorial. 2 raised to the power 9 is actually uh, 512 times 8 factorial. So if we simplify this, we are going to obtain 315 divided by 4 as the final solution. You can punch your calculator to evaluate it, you'll get this. Alright? So for this particular integral, it is 315 divided by 4. So still using the gamma function, what is the value of this integral? The integral from 0 to infinity of the square root of x into e to the power of minus root x dx. Remember this. Okay, so we are going to write this integral in this form. So this will be the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of 1 half. Square root signifies the power of 1 over 2. Okay times e to the power of minus x to the power of 1 over 2 dx so looking at that integral uh, t has the power of 1 in this case x has the power of 1 over 2 then the coefficient of t is minus 1 ok here it is also minus 1 so because uh, the power of x here is not 1 like the power of t here is we are going to modify this integral so let's introduce a new variable. I always use u. So let u be equal to x to the power of 1 over 2. From here, I want to make x the subject of the formula. Okay? Uh, I will have to multiply both powers by 2. So that if I say u squared equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2, 2 cancels 2. So everything here becomes 1. So it's as if there's nothing there. You get it? So I multiplied both, both powers by 2. Now, having said this, 
From here, I want to differentiate u with respect to x. That will be 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2. You know that if I differentiate this 1 over 2 with times the coefficient of x here, okay, then subtract 1 from the power. So I want to make ds the subject of the formula now. Now this will be equal to x to the power of minus 1 over 2 all over 2. So if I cross multiply, du times 2, that's 2 du, equal to ds times this. That is uh, x to the power of minus 1 over 2 dx. You know, I want to make dx the subject. So from here, 2 du will be equal to dx all over x to the power of positive 1 over 2. You know, of course, that if I have a to the power of minus x, if I turn it upside down, it will be 1 over a to the power of positive x. That's what I did here. So cross multiply, it means that 2 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 1 over 2 du will be equal to dx. It means that this integral okay, is still from 0 to infinity. This time around, the square root of x, which is x to the power of 1 over 2, is equal to u. Then um, e to the power of minus, this is still u. What's dx? dx is everything here. So I should write in 2 um, du. Hold on. I don't want to write x. That's why I open a bracket. We have already replaced this variable with something. So what is x to the power of 1 over 2? It is u. So from here, we have this. Let's continue from here. This 2 will come out. So that will be 2 into the integral from 0 to infinity of u squared, u times u is u squared, then e to the power of minus u d. So that we have 2 into the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the power of 3 minus 1 times e to the power of minus u d. Because it is 3 minus 1, that will give me 2. Okay, using this uh, definition. So this is simply 2 into gamma of 3. Gamma of 3 is simply 2 times 3 minus 1 factorial and this is 2 factorial which is 2 so i have 2 times 2 and this is equal to 4 so this integral sorry this integral is equal to 4 that is the value of this integral so you see how the gamma function helps to determine integrals of this form easily keep supporting by subscribing to this channel like the video and share them to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.